activists, collectively known as Occupy ICE, set up camp at City Hall on July 6th to protest the city's immigration policies. They have been pushing the city and Mayor Kenny to meet their demands and intend to stay there until they are. Our first demand is abolish ICE. Our second demand is shut down Burks. And our third demand, uh, which is uh, the one we're focusing on right here at this encampment, is that uh, Mayor Kinney uh, not renew the PARS agreement on August 31st. I'm here to support these kids that have been taken away from their mothers and their fathers, five years old and under. That's unbelievable. It's ungodly. It's a, it's a crime. Ending the Preliminary Arraignment Reporting System, or PARS, agreement has been a fight going on since 2008 when the current contract began. It intensified with the separation of immigrant families by the Trump administration. When someone is arrested, um, their information is entered into the PARS system, um, their name, national origin, and whether or not they have a social security number specifically. Um, and that information is sent directly to ICE. Um, so. We're here to say that the you know, direct communication between the city, which is supposedly a sanctuary city, and the institution that's coordinating these mass deportations and mass imprisonment of uh, you know, valuable members of our community, um, it's unacceptable. The more people that are here, the more people will take notice. The officials will take notice. And take notice they did, as Mayor Kenny announced on Friday, July 28th, that the PARS contract would not be renewed with Immigration and Customs Enforcement. We cannot in good conscience allow the agreement to continue. So, <laughs> Our city solicitor, Marcel Pratt, has notified ICE officials in writing that the agreement will not be renewed when it expires on August 31st. Our process involved the mayor himself, members of his office, the managing director's office, the Office of Immigrant Affairs, and the city's law department. The termination of the PARS contract is the right decision. It's a decision that will once again reinforce to our immigrant communities that this city is not an extension of ICE. Witnesses and victims of crime in our city will know that they need not fear negative consequences when they report crimes to police or use services offered by the city. In any protest, you hope your voices are not just heard, but followed by action. That was certainly the case here but they're not done yet. One of their demands were met, but their fight to reach other goals continues, probably with the governor's office in hopes of closing down the Burke's detention facility. For Philly Cam Voices, I'm Adam Bornstein.